Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here. Day number 128, if my calculations are correct, of giggling. And welcome back to another edition of Confessions of Giggler. I'm here at Epcot today. Um, it's about, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a take two. Um, <laughs> so, feeling much better. Um, and today, hopefully, we can uh, eat some food and do some ratings and all that, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, so when we originally planned this, here, by the way, <laughs> um, when we originally planned this day, oh, wait, hold on, just oof. look at him. <laughs> so yeah, so when we originally planned this for us to do two Epcot days, it was so we could eat more food because we always get so full and then we can't try everything. But then the last time, um, I just, it was just no good. <laughs> I mean, like the last day, I just didn't feel well at all. So I didn't eat anything, but today we're going to do our best. We're not going to eat a ton of stuff, but we're going to, we're going to try some things. And, um, and I think I'm going to go on Spaceship Earth <laughs> because that's a nice gentle ride. I think I can handle it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, we'll go, we go through the middle. Yeah, so, yay. Poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. All right, so our first snacks from the day are from Farmer's Feast. It's right there behind me. Um, they change their menu like every few weeks or so. So they have three different menus for Flower and Garden and we're on the second menu. Um, so we got strawberry rhubarb little upside down cake and we got a swordfish with asparagus. Jared's gonna eat this asparagus and I'm gonna eat the swordfish. Let me use my pointer. <laughs> and then Jared got a ghost Mary. I don't really know what that means, but it's a little, it's like a Bloody Mary, but instead of, instead of tomato juice, I think it's tomato water or something. So here she goes trying it. Do you like it? Is it good? Does it taste like a, does it? Did you enjoy it? Okay. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try these delicious things and well, hopefully they're delicious and we'll report back. All right. So my review is that cake was so good. What does Jar think? Delicious. <laughs> and I'm not a sweet person. Yeah, the so cake was, was really good. good. It was really good. Um, I would I would definitely recommend getting that cake. Um, just really, really good. It was light and airy and refreshing, refreshing and like cooked yeah. cooked well, nice flavor, and yeah, it was good. The swordfish was fine. I mean it tasted like any other white fish to me. Um, Jared really liked the asparagus. The asparagus was delicious. And she's enjoying... It was grilled properly. Yeah. And she's enjoying her uh, refreshing Bloody Mary. Yes. It's not even... doesn't even look like a Bloody Mary. It looks no, more like a white wine. No, that's why it's called... A, that's why yeah. it's called Ghost Mary. Right, I know. Looks like a white wine. Ghost. Um, so... I think that that I think that that was a good booth. It wasn't nothing was overwhelming like because it's very hot out, so yeah. nothing was heavy or overwhelming um, to make you feel bleh. So I like it. I would give the booth um, I don't know, like an eight. I'd say. say what did you say? Yeah, an eight? eight. Yeah, an eight. So good for farm farm. What is it called? Farmers feast. Farmers feast. Um, I wish I was here earlier because the stuff that they had in the first part of the of the festival seemed like it would have been really good so i don't know i have to read the sign again i don't remember what it was but it's too late it's too late yeah you got a little something on your face all right there you go um so yeah let's let's continue on and hopefully we can find more shady seats to sit in because I, this might be the hottest day there's been so far <laughs> it's really it's really hot out here <laughs> All right, the next stop is a honey bistro. It's B with like a like a B, like a buzz B. So, <laughs> so like everything on there is like honey and stuff. So they have a, a flatbread that that looks delicious. It has like blueberries and prosciutto on it, and a chicken and waffle with some sort of honey dressing on it, which also looks delicious. And um, a little honey cheesecake that Jar already ate some of it. Well, Jared, what did you think? Was it good? It was, oh, 
Oh, that's my backpack. It fell over. Is it good? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, man. For the shaky uh, footage there. But yeah, so we're going to try all this and then we'll report back. Okay, I thought the Honey Bistro was fantastic. Jared did not think so as much. Um, I really loved the flatbread and uh, the chicken was, I mean, the chicken was good. It just tasted like a chicken and waffle. Nothing special to me. But the flatbread was so good. I had like goat cheese and balsamic glaze and blueberries and prosciutto and it was it was really good. Jared did not like it, so I ate the whole thing. But the the little cheesecake was really delicious and it had like honeycomb and that was good. What did you think, Jared? What a she didn't like it. She didn't she didn't like any of the things. And then I told her to eat the little uh, meringue and she was like, No, I'm not eating it. And I was like, just eat it. It's just a meringue. But you know, whatever, it's Jared. Um now we're here at, she went to the Northern Bloom, the Canada booth, and we have our scallops and, uh, what is that, beef tip, beef, tips, yeah. beef, beef tip, whatever. So, this is like Jar's favorite booth. She loves the Canada booth so much. It's her number one favorite of all time. So, she's very excited to be here. Yes? I mean, yes. All I need is one scallop all and you I can need. have the rest. All I need is just two in there. I know. But you can have whatever it's in here. Alright. Um, okay. So let's let's get to it. Okay, so the review. Beef was a little tough. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I did not love it. Um, not as good as it normally is. No, it's not. Um I'd have given it a six. Oh, a six. Six from a six from Jar. I think that's because it's your favorite booth and you like overhyped it in your head and now like you're disappointed. Um, the scallops were, were fine. Um, the sauce that the sauce that they were cooked in was was good, but it was a little too vinegary. So I can't um, I can't eat too much vinegary things. It doesn't doesn't sit well for me. So <laughs> so uh, you know whatever. It's fine. It was fine. I like the honey booth the best so far. Um, but yeah, I mean the first one was pretty good too. No, the honey one. I'll say the honey one is my favorite so far, but we've only gone to three, so that's not a not a large sample. <laughs> so we're here at uh, La Isla Fresca, that's the name of this booth, and we got the oxtail and... It's Morocco, right? No, it's not Morocco. Morocco's over there. This is just a island booth. Um, so... We got the oxtail with, with pigeon pea rice. Jer, Jer refused. She's like, that's disgusting. It's pigeons. I said, it's not, a, it's not pigeon. You think that Epcot's gonna serve you pigeon? Unbelievable. I said, they're just beans. They're just beans and they're called pigeon peas. Like, uh, I'm like, this girl, where'd she come from? Anyway, I made her try it, and she says it's not bad. She's been in the whole thing. She says it's a little salty, so I might not like it, but... Look, there she is. What do you think? There she is, eating some more. You like it? Mm hmm Very salty, though. You can't... She was just like, oh, ox. I can't have ox. Ox, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ox is like... There's no difference. It's like a cow. An ox is a cow. It's, it's like a... a cow. It's like a man cow. It's a male Yeah. Like, oh, relax. So then I looked it up. I said, what is oxtail? It said, tail, the tailbone of cattle. Like, I mean, and then I looked and then I said, what does it taste like? It tastes like beef. So, sure, just try it. That's what I said, just try it. So I'm glad that she tried it. I'm proud of her. Yeah, now I have to try it. If it was less salty. She says it was less salty. You're I have gonna, to try it. Let me try it. Really um, so yeah, it was a little salty, a little spicy too. Um, still feel like burning some but I just wanted to show you that that booth that Isla, Isla Fresca is right here next to Miss Piggy Queen Piggy and Kermie the Frog um, twins look at how fabulous we both are I mean I don't feel fabulous today if I'm being honest but I've been fabulous all week <laughs> right, we made it around to the German uh, pavilion and the, the Germany booth I don't know what it's called it's called Braun Mart, maybe? Bauer Mart? I don't know, whatever. It's the, it's the booth in the Germany pavilion. <laughs> um, so we got 
this pretzel bread. It has cheese and ham on it. We got a, a potato pancake with some applesauce. Um, and this delicious treat, cheese strudel with some berry compote. Uh, very excited for all the things because uh, honestly the German booth never disappoints me. Always, always comes through with some delicious foods. So let's give them a go. Yeah, that was that was just fantastic. The German booth never disappoints. Always delicious. Um, yeah, I think that that I think that like sets us over the top. We're full, completely full for the day. <laughs> and I'm glad that we ended on this on this booth that we know that we love. Um, that berry compote on that cheese thing is really good. Like if I could just have that, I would put it on everything. I would really, I would just. I literally put it on everything. I love, I love berries and a nice berry compote. Oh, yes, delish, love. Uh, so yeah, I think that's gonna wrap things up for us here. Just a little miniature food tasting here at Flower and Garden. Um, but I had a nice day. We still, we still took it slow, and you know, managed to do what we could. And we had, a, we had a really good time here at Epcot. Uh, yeah. So I think that's going to be it for me for today. <laughs> that's it for Jared for today. Where is she? There she is. Wave, Mommy. Bye. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.